Hi guys, this is Techzilla back again with another video. This time it's the unboxing of the long-awaited HTC U Ultra. Before I start, I just want to do a quick flashback as it were. This is what most people know HTC for. You've got the HTC M9 here, look at that beautiful metal build. Beautiful with the dual speakers, absolutely beautiful looking. And the phone after that, the HTC 10. Look at that metal build. Beautiful, high quality, fantastic looking. So let's move those out of the way. This is what everyone's been waiting for. The HTC U Ultra. This is no longer what HTC do. This is a departure from the solid metal builds I just showed you of the M9 and the HTC 10. So let me show you quickly around this packaging. I actually imported this. Um, if you want to get it, it's cheaper to actually import it than it is to buy in the UK. Um, 600 pounds as opposed to 650 in the stores here if you want to buy it you want to import it in i suggest you go to wonder mobile i'll leave a link in the description anyway having said that let's have a look around the box the packaging pretty straightforward simple packaging nice high quality packaging there now let's have a look at the back and i'll read this stuff to you real quick You've got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 821 processor. It's a 5.7 inch Quad HD Corning Gorilla Glass 5 with the dual display screen. It takes a micro SD card up to two terabytes. It's got four gigabytes of RAM. It's got 12 megapixel F1.8 Ultra Pixel 2 PDAF laser autofocus with OIS rear camera. Now that was a bit of a mouthful. And you've got a 16 megapixel front facing shooter with ultra pixel mode. Uh, a nano, a dual nano SIM, fingerprint sensor, the highly fabled HTC USonic, 3D audio recording, HTC boom sound, high res audio, Qualcomm quick charge 3.0, Wi-Fi 802.11, 4G LTE and NFC. So, drum rolls, please. Let's open this up and chuck this over there. And I actually got the black oil, that's what it's called, because everyone's getting the blue one and I want it to be different. So, I wanted to try out the black oil one. So, you can see that there. I'll put it to one side for the minute. Let's open this up and see what else you get in the box. So here you have the case, free case that comes with it. Nice clear case this one. It's a hard shell. And inside it's got these little micro dots. You can see them there. Don't know if you can pick them up. Yeah, there you go. You can just see them there. Let's stop getting that horrible rainbow effect on the back of the device. So that's a nice, nice touch that they included. A free case. No postage stamp necessary posted in Hong Kong. I'm not sure what that is. Probably warranty and stuff. Warranty card. Safety and regulatory guide. No one's going to read that. A microfiber cloth. Because this thing's going to be a fingerprint magnet, guys. Chuck that all back in the box. So this can take a nano SIM and a micro SD card. Or you can have two sims in there so i won't bother reading into that it's back in here and let's open up this side and here we have a uk power brick which is i like that i'm glad they included that this is a fast charging one 3.0 got different size tips for your earbuds they're the nice 
USB type C earbuds included. These are supposed to sound amazing, but I'll be testing them out later on. And you've got your USB charging cable. No need for me to take them out. I'll take the headphones out, of course, but the rest of it, I've got loads of chargers and stuff all over the place. So let's put this back in there and chuck this over to the side. The main show. This beautiful, beautiful looking device. So let me try and open this up if I can. Look at that. Look at the beauty of that device. That is one beautiful looking phone. Check that over the side. Look at the shine on that. This is the black oil version. Now I know in certain lights, this actually has a green tint and sometimes there's a blue tint. Beautiful, look at that look. Turn over to the front. It's already picking up lint and stuff. So quick tour around the phone. You've got your power button there with the ridged texture on it. Your volume rockers there. You've got your antenna bands here. You can see them right there. One up here. And I'll go around the phone. You've got two more down here. Micro USB Type C charging port. <coughs> Bottom firing speaker, microphone. You've got your camera on the back. This thing's so glossy. You've got your laser autofocus with your dual LED flash. And this is like a sort of a very dark metallic -y blue tint, this black bezel around here. SIM card tray, noise cancelling mic at the top. It's not focusing, there we go. Noise cancelling mic at the top. Along this side, nothing. So, and there's your fingerprint sensor on the front and your front facing um, selfie camera, another microphone by the looks of it, and your earpiece. So guys, I'll be back in a minute. I'm just gonna set the phone up and I'll be right back. Right, let's get the SIM card tray out so you guys can see that, the layout of it. Right there, you can see that. Try and bring you to focus, there you go. So SIM one at the front here, and you've got SIM two at the back, or micro SD card. So let me pop my stuff in there real quick. There's your touch capacitive, touch capacitive buttons here and here. Okay, so let's do this, see how fast it is. So a little tip for you guys, when you're doing the fingerprint sensor, put your finger at different angles on it. Because that will give you... There you go. Right guys, I've set it up. I've been using it for a little bit. So let's quickly, let's start off with the secondary display. You know, actually, you know, forget it. Let's start off with the drop down menu. As you can see, very stock Android looking. Very nice. Going to settings, got your usual settings here. I have to set up my HTCU Sonic headphones. I'm not gonna go into this in too much depth because I'll save that for the review. But you get a gist of what's included in here. And click on here, software information. As you can see, it's Android version 7.0. It's got uh, January the 1st, 2017 security patch. So that gives you an idea of what we're looking at there. Come out of that. Um, secondary display. So now if I'm playing Spotify, it'll come up here, the controls. You've got your weather, favorite apps. I can create a reminder here, which I haven't tried yet, but I will do. It'll tell me from my calendar what my next event is within the 24 hours. And then you've got your favorite contacts, which I'm not going to get into right now. 
Now, some people are saying they're getting light bleed from here, just under the camera, front facing camera. As you can see from my unit, there is no light bleed at all coming through there whatsoever. Screen is very, very vibrant for an IPS. A little bit muted, could be better, um, but it is what it is. It's not a bad looking screen, it's 2K resolution. So that's quite nice. Of course, you've got your blink feed here on this side, which I've got set up. So you can see there, I've got my social media, news, etc. If you look at the case on the back, it's already getting scratched up. Can you see it there? So my advice is look at the fingerprints on it. My advice is a big scratch here, and I've only had this in my pocket, scratch there, scratch there. That's the case, luckily, not the phone. So definitely, definitely get yourself a case, a decent one. Um, let me do a few size comparisons between phones. Now the first one, <clears throat> copy or not copy, the S7 Edge. Look how similar they look at the back. Very, very similar looking. Now remember, the S7 Edge has got a 5.5 inch screen, but look at the height difference there. Look at the difference in width. It's a big old chunky phone, this. So that's an S7 Edge. Let's move that out of the way. Uh, Let's compare it to a HTC M, HTC, sorry, a Mate 9, Huawei Mate 9, which has got a 5.9 inch screen. So the U-Ultra is a bit bigger, a bit taller, and it's a little bit wider, believe it or not. Just, no, actually I say they're the same width, same width, but it's definitely taller. It's got a 5.7 inch screen, this, but it has got the secondary display on top. You can see there, the Mate 9 is smaller in hand, which is shocking. It is actually quite a surprise. Uh, let's bring in a Mi Mix. Now the Mi Mix, if you look at that, they're the same height. Mi Mix is a little bit wider. I know it's got the leather case on, but I have tested it without the case. It's a little bit wider than Mi Mix. And the Mi Mix has got a 6.4 inch screen. And it's shorter in height. Just a tiny bit, tad smaller. So 6.4 inch screen. Let's bring in an HTC M9 because a lot of you are gonna get this phone have already got HTC devices. So as you can see, the M9 is much smaller, which is to be expected. And the HTC 10, before you go, oh, I'll take the case off and compare it, it's no point because you're going to use cases on all these phones anyway. The M10, much smaller device. So like I said, most of you out there have got these, will probably get the U-Ultra. And I'll tell you what, let me bring in my iPhone 7 Plus and compare that as well. iPhone 7 Plus, shorter in height and it's a little bit less width than the iPhone 7 Plus. It's a little, the U Ultra is a little bit wider. Um, in case you're wondering, this is a brand new range of stone cases um, released by Cover Up. I'll be reviewing them in a couple of days. So if you're wondering, if you want to check that out, definitely subscribe to my channel, guys. So a quick look at the fingerprint sensor to so get an idea of the speed. And again, not bad at all. And you see the capacitive touch buttons there. They're well lit up, very nice. I will give you a little spoiler alert. Speakers are very good on this. Not brilliantly, you know, not the best, but they are very good. Anyway, guys, that's it. Subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video, thumbs down if you didn't. I know it's gone on longer than I wanted it to, but I wanted to do a thorough unboxing. Um, I'll be doing a 24 hour video, 48 hour, 72, eight, uh, 72 hour video. Um, I'll be doing a one week, two weeks, three weeks, and one month update on this. I'll be doing camera comparisons, camera video on this, how the sh uh, shots like. Um, I'll be doing this first, the Pixel XL. 
and so on and so forth. I'll be doing a lot of coverage on this device. So definitely subscribe, help me out guys and share this video on all your social media because it helps me out loads. Anyway, this is Texilla saying take care. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you all again real soon. Bye for now.